In a flash that lasted for over one hour, a merging sunspot, active region 3869, erupted this morning, October the 24th, and this produced a slow X3.3 class solar flare. And this explosion almost certainly produced a CME. The United States Air Force is reporting a Type 2 solar radio burst. This is a natural signal that comes from the shockwaves at the leading edge of a CME's characteristics of the burst, suggesting a CME travelling at 1.3 million miles per hour. This sunspot, Active Region 3869, has recently garnered significant attention due to its powerful solar activity. This sunspot, a region of the sun's surface marked by intense magnetic activity, has been the source of a remarkable X-class solar flare and a subsequent coronal mass ejection. These events have profound implications for planet Earth, including radio blackouts and the potential for stunning auroral displays. On the morning of October the 24th, Sunspot AR3869 unleashed an X1.4 class solar flare. X class flares are the most powerful type of solar flares, capable of releasing vast amounts of energy. This particular flare caused immediate radio blackouts across parts of the globe, particularly affecting high frequency radio communications. This flare's intense radiation ionised the Earth's upper atmosphere, disrupting the ionosphere's ability to reflect radio waves and leading to these blackouts. Accompanying this X-flare was a significant coronal mass ejection. This is a massive burst of solar wind and magnetic fields released into space. CMEs can travel at speeds ranging from 250 to 3000 km per second. The CME from Sunspot AR3869 is estimated to be travelling at approximately 1,500 km per second. This rapid movement means that the coronal mass ejection could reach the planet Earth within a few days, potentially impacting our planet's magnetosphere. As the CME interacts with Earth's magnetic field, it can cause geomagnetic storms, these storms can disrupt power grids, satellite operations and navigation systems. But it's not all doom and gloom. One of the more visually spectacular effects of geomagnetic storms is the enhancement of the auroras. The charged particles from the CME can excite molecules in Earth's atmosphere, leading to vibrant displays of the aurora borealis and the aurora australis. These auroras may be visible at lower latitudes than usual due to the intensity of this storm. The initial X-flare has already caused radio blackouts and further disruptions are possible as the CME impacts the ionosphere. High frequency radio communications, particularly those used by aviation and maritime industries, may experience significant interference. Satellites and spacecraft in orbit are vulnerable to the increased radiation and charged particles from this CME, and this can lead to malfunctions or damage to onboard electronics. The Sunspot Active Region 3869's recent activity highlights the dynamic and sometimes disruptive nature of the Sun. The X-class solar flare and subsequent CME serve as a reminder of the powerful forces at play in our solar system. While these events can cause significant disruptions, they also offer opportunities for scientific study and the chance to witness the awe-inspiring beauty of the auroras. As we continue to monitor and study solar activity, we gain a better understanding of how to mitigate its impacts on our technology-dependent world.